Hello everybody, my name is Kara Whiteway and I am a health coach. I am a property investor, a property flipper, as well as a serial entrepreneur. And this lovely, beautiful lady right here needs absolutely no introduction, but she is Jillian Michaels. She is a fitness trainer. She is a certified nutritionist. She has written nine books. She's appeared on four TV shows. I just, I'm so humbled to be here with her today. She's a mom. She's a dog mom. She is a successful (laughs) and a very powerful businesswoman. And Jillian, I cannot thank you enough for being here today. And I know your time is super precious. So I'm going to roll right into it. So thank you for being here. I'm so inspired by you. I really am. Thank you for having me. I love that you got dog mom in there. I was like, okay, that's a dog mom too. That touches my heart. Thank and you. a parrot. I, I, get that parrot. Just, I watch your videos all the time. Um, so listen, I wanted to ask you your first and foremost of how you were able to transition from being a personal trainer to a successful businesswoman and really what the defining moment was for you where your Jillian Michaels brand was flourishing and launched. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm going to try to make this concise. So as a trainer making 50 bucks an hour, 60 bucks an hour, whatever it might be. As a kid, I was like, this is amazing. This is great. I'm rolling in cash, right? In your early twenties. Then you get to your mid twenties and people start to say like, oh, what are you going to do for your real job? Right? So I pursued a desk job, never made less money, never been more miserable, sucked at the job, ended up getting fired from the job. And a few years after that, it was like, okay, wait a second. I love what I do. I love fitness. I love helping people. I love training people. But how, how can I turn that into a bigger business? Like, I don't want to be working hand to mouth, hour to hour. So I began studying different brands, whether it was Martha Stewart or Rachel Ray or Susie Orman or Cesar Milan, right? What do you have? Like a person who likes cooking, uh, a person who was a waitress that went broke and learned how to invest in the stock market a guy who really likes dogs, right? They, they had their passions and they built multi-million, if not billion dollar businesses off of doing what they love. So I studied them and thought if they can do it, why can't I do it? And I realized the first thing that I needed was a platform. Nowadays, what's so great is there is no barrier to entry, right? You can start your own podcast, your own blog, grow your social media, which is really exciting. At that time, You didn't have that many options. So I was very lucky to squeeze through a narrow window, make it on Biggest Loser. And then I took it to the next level of, okay, now I have this platform, but I I don't know how to run a business. I recruited a bunch of people who were great at the things I wasn't great at. And I began learning how to operate a business from people who knew how to brand, knew sales, understood licensing, understood endorsement, built that team, and then the rest is history. That's so fabulous. And so do you feel as a, other business owners and entrepreneurs are like, do you feel that they would be more successful if they were practicing like a healthy way of life with not only their own um, business, but also with their team members? I've often been asked about that transcendent question, right? Like, does it, does it, does it raise all tides, this healthy lifestyle? Um, at the same time, you can look at people who are extremely successful in their career and not very healthy physically because they'll pour themselves into one thing and negate the other. So while you could arguably be very successful without being healthy or very healthy without being successful, I would advocate for both regardless. And I would say that your health is your number one wealth. And what we do know is that your health is the platform you build your entire life on top of. So even if you could build this in a tremendous mansion, if it's on a fault line, you know, why? (laughs) So I I would, I would absolutely recommend focusing on your health because we do know that it will simply enhance and transcend into every other facet of your life, a more empowered physician. 100%. frame of mind. And I mean, it's no secret that I'm here today because of JT Fox. I mean, he's my wealth and business coach and that's why we're meeting today. So I'm so humbled by that as well. But he states that if you have 50 good days as an entrepreneur, then you will be successful. So I want to ask Jillian how you're able to overcome those bad days and continue to always, you know, move forward. 
I understand going in that they are a necessity, right? So your mindset is critical. If you know, all right, I will only be successful if I'm brave enough to take risk. With risk comes failure. Failure is a sign of courage, not failure is a sign of my deepest, darkest fears. It validates my concerns that I'm not capable. I'm not worthy. I'm not deserving. Damn it. I knew it. I failed again. I'm such a loser. So mindset and perspective are critical going in, knowing this is going to happen. And when it does, it's a good thing, right? Cause it means I'm risking, I'm trying and I'm learning. So when we have these bad days, then the perspective is great. This was obviously not the thing for me or it would have worked out. So what is it preparing me for? What is it making me wiser, smarter, stronger, better? Person, place, opportunity, or thing that's around the corner in life waiting for me to be ready. It's a learning opportunity to prepare you for what I consider to be your eventual destiny if you continue moving forward. Mindset, how you define these things, that's how you tolerate the bad days. Okay, amazing. And that was my question for like the hundreds of thousands of people that you've helped achieve weight loss success and live a healthy way of life. My question was how important do you think the mindset plays in it, but you've just answered that. Like it's just, <laughs> it's so important, right? It's everything. It's everything. Um, I mean, I, I often tell people weight loss is easy if they come to me for weight loss, right? Or I'm sorry, forgive me. It's simple. That's the word. Eat less, move more. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. But then why, if it's so simple, is it's so hard and that's all here absolutely so you know and people try oh uh -uh, no liar I, I keto no juice cleanse soup i'm gonna it's just like no you know that's you not wanting to do the work it's, it's here it's all here for sure so what advice would you give to women? Um, because the majority of my clients are women and at any age, like some of them struggle, of course, with body image issues or lack of self-confidence. Would you give any advice to them? I'm a firm believer that first, if you have the right information, then you can take informed action, right? Which will give you a far greater chance of achieving success. Whereas, you know, people just think, oh, okay, action, intention. It's like, no, no, <laughs> misinformed action is like taking a wrecking ball to your life. You'll screw up your metabolism. You'll go out of business. I mean, the list goes on and on. So educate yourself first before taking any actions and then consider getting support, right? It, even if it's a Facebook group, if you can't afford a coach or a class, whatever it might be, get some support. We all need support. And then when you have that right information and you have that fleeting moment of bravado where you go, I'm going to the gym today. Today is, to, tomorrow has come to, it's today. And you go and all of a sudden you take all that information and you apply it to an action and you actually get that small success. It's these small successes that over time redefine the way you see yourself. Cause now you're like, wait a minute. You know, you, you, you can't believe in a reality that never existed. So if you think I can't do a push up, I've never been able to do a push up. I have no strength. I have no upper body strength. And one day you follow this program to do the push up. you do the push up, And now it's like, holy cow, everything I thought about myself and my limitations is actually bullshit. What else is possible? Which is why success begets success. But to have it, you need the right information to apply to the action. And you need support to tolerate the work and the sacrifice associated with it. I love that. My last question for you is how do you stay so inspired every day to live a healthy way of life? And like, again, instilling that on all of your followers, your clients to stay motivated, to live healthy. You know, I'm selfish. So motivation, I can give you a million reasons. Number one, now I have kids. So obviously, yes, I want to be around for them. I want to be my kids' kids. I'd like to be my kids' kids' kids. But I also kind of want to be that cool mom. 
You know, like I kind of want to be the mom that can like break two boards with a sidekick and go down the black diamond ski slope with my eight year old. Like I want to be the cool mom. I do. I want to have that lifestyle with my kids. That matters to me. I want them to remember me like that. I want to feel good in my own skin and like wear a certain brand of skinny jeans and feel really confident in them. I'm narcissistic that way. And that's okay too. I, this is what I do for a living. I need to show people I know what I'm talking about. And it's like, if, if what I tell you is not true, then how come at 46, I can still do X, Y, Z that I could do when I was 20 and look and feel healthy and strong, right? So professionally, I'm <laughs> motivated. Personally, I'm motivated. Narcissistically, I'm motivated. So I'm very lucky, quite honestly, to have all of these different elements that drive me on a daily basis. But if you, if you really look, right, and you start to ask yourself, how will my life improve? Where will I feel more com com comfortable, confident, strong, empowered, sexy, whatever it might be, that will allow you to gradually define that why. And that why is the purpose, and work with purpose becomes passion. And that's, that's motivation in a nutshell. You're just such an incredible woman and an inspiration to so many, including myself. I, I love health and thank fitness and breathing it and living it my whole life. And I honestly can't thank you enough for your time, Jillian. You're just, just keep doing what you're doing. I love watching your journey and it's, I think it's so incredible. I really do. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. One day you got to teach me how to flip a house. Okay, well, no problem. We'll do <laughs> it in California yeah. so it's nice and warm. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Jillian. Have a great evening.